abrasion. Probable causes, removal of a portion of the surface of the coating or, in severe cases, removal to expose the substrate by contact with another object, such as the use of metal chains for lifting, cargo, fenders, or the grounding of a ship. Prevention, use of abrasion-resistant coatings formulated with particular regard to resins and extender pigments. With severe cases of abrasion, the effects will be reduced or limited only by an abrasion-resistant coating. Adhesion failure. Probable causes. Surface contamination or condensation, incompatibility between coating systems, or exceeding the overcoating prevention, time. Ensure that the surface is clean, dry, and free from any contamination and that the surface has been suitably prepared. Use the correct coating specification and follow the advised overcoating times. Alligatoring, crocodiling. Probable causes, internal stresses in the coating where the surface shrinks faster than the body of the paint film. Excessive film thickness and limited paint flexibility. Application of a hard top coat over a more flexible softer undercoat. Application of top coat before the undercoat has dried. Prevention. Use correct coating specification and compatible materials. Avoid excessive film thickness. Avoid application at high ambient temperatures. Bleeding. Probable causes. Partial bleed through is generally a full or redissolving of the previous coat or an ingredient of a previous coat and can occur when straw-in solvents are used in the prevention, top coats. Use correct coating specification and materials. Use compatible materials. Use appropriate sealer coat if possible. Blistering. Probable causes. Many mechanisms can be involved, including osmotic gradients associated with soluble salts, soluble pigments, corrosion products, retained solvents, and solvents from cargoes. Blistering is associated with cathodic thermal gradients related to cold compressive. Prevention. Stress. Non-osmotic disbonding. Wall effects and ensure correct surface preparation and application. Apply a suitable coating system after testing for soluble salts. Consider the possibility of the different blister mechanisms in the particular environment. Bloom, blush. Probable causes, paint film exposed to condensation or moisture during curing, especially at low temperature, common phenomenon with amine-cured epoxies. Incorrect solvent blend can also contribute to blooming. Prevention, apply and cure coating systems under correct environmental conditions and follow the manufacturer's recommendations. Bridging. Probable causes. Welds. Poor application. High viscosity paint system. Failure to brush paint into corners and over. Prevention, brush apply a stripe coat into corners and welds and fill all cracks or weld them prior to application of the full coat. Bubbles or bubbling. Probable causes, trapped air solvent within the coating that is not released before the surface dries. Air entrainment during mixing. High ambient temperature during application. Also seen when overcoating antifouling without removal of the leached layer and zinc silicates. Can be found with factory applied coatings where application is by dipping, electrodeposition, or roller coating. Prevention, in spray application. Adjust viscosity with thinners and follow data sheet requirements for maximum application temperature. Use correct mixing equipment to ensure air is not stirred in during mixing. Apply a mist coat. Add deforming agent to emulsion paints. Cathodic disbonding. Probable causes. High overvoltage principally from impressed current systems but also to a lesser extent with sacrificial anodes when the number of anodes is excessive. Factors are incorrect installation, poor monitoring, and incompatible coating systems. Prevention, you say a well designed cathodic protection system, regularly monitored with well-placed reference electrodes, and application of an alkali-resistant coating system. Dash. Choking. Probable causes, disintegration of the paint binder on exposure to weathering and or ultraviolet. Prevention. Light. Apply a suitable top coat with high resistance to choking and with ultraviolet resistance.